I've got a pile of pins. I'm gonna hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen. Going on all things Disney. From house to parks and in between. Come share the magic with me. La 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 la. La 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 la. Live your life to a Disney tune. Come and share Jake's Disney afternoon. Hey Disney Afternoon Gang, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jake. If you're returning here, you know I love it when you come back. And if you're new, I do all kinds of Disney content, including subscription boxes, hauls, swaps, trivia, vintage, pins. If it's Disney, we're doing it. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney Afternoon. All right, I feel like it's been a minute since we've done some pin damage. And this is like half of the damage I've done recently. So I've got more on the way, but I thought I'd split this up into some shorter videos. Um, I'll maybe do the other uh, half during Vlogmas, which, holy cow, can we just talk about for a second? Like, where did this month go? Where, where, Where's November? Did anybody enjoy November? No? Okay. Um, it's here. The Vlogmas and the December and Thanksgiving is next week. What? Okay. Anyway, let's start with the one that I opened uh, Sometimes, you know, I'm impatient. Um, finally, limited edition of a thousand. I got the Rescuers Down Under Loungefly pin. I, uh, you know, Loungefly had a sale, I don't know, early in the fall. And it was like 30% off or something. It was 15 bucks. And, um, and I didn't get it for some... I don't know, for some dumb reason. Sorry, I'm just being distracted here. Um, and anyway, on eBay and all the places, it was a lot of money. Finally, I found one at cost, so like I don't feel too bad about it. But um, here it is, up close. We've got Bernard and Miss Bianca and Jake and then Marahute up in the back. And it's like a swivel, swingy element. And this was like the poster art. Um, this was for the... Is this for an anniversary? I don't know, but you know I love the rescuers down under and anytime there's a pin, I want to add it to my collection. So very happy to finally have this, come on Swivel, um, back in the collection. So I had this pin also tucked away forever. It came in like a haul I forgot to do like a couple months ago. And then every time I found it, it was always after I had just done another um, pin haul, which you know how that goes. So I've been saving it all this time, dying to put it up on the board. Um, let me grab my little pin board here. And this was maybe an anniversary pin too, but it is the Fox and the Hound. All the characters are there. Big Mama, Copper and Todd. Is her name Vixie or Vixen? It's something based on that. And uh, Duke, Sergeant, Captain... What's the, what's the other dog's name? Ugh. Anyway, this is a pin I had been wanting. I forget where I got it from. It's been so long. I got it at a good price, so that I do remember. It is limited edition of uh, 2000. Okay. Um, you know, pretty decent. All right, then... Let's start with this. I got some magic mail from a new Disney friend who sent me some pins. So let me open this up here. This little card inside. Some of y'all just spoil me so good. Hope you like them from your Disney friend, Nancy May. Nancy, thank you so much for sending this cute little card and some of these pins. She messaged me one day forget what video it was after. Oh, cool. And asked me about, I think these were at Burlington and I had not found, I have, I have found one pin thing at Burlington and it was that lanyard, the frozen lanyard. Remember it had four pins, um, which, you know, I guess if you're going to find something, that's the something to find. But a lot of people have found the Nightmare Before Christmas pins and I had found none of them. And, oh, did you put these in these little bags? Let me open these. So these are super cute. 
Um, and I really appreciate you sending them over to me. So, oh, this one's cool. This is, can you see that? Like, where's my little, there's my little board. Here it is. Um, so it's got sort of, you can see the raised element of the characters and the moon. And I just like how spooky that one looks. Um, I don't have a ton of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas pins, um, but it's, and it's a film I don't collect a lot from, but it's a film I actually really, really genuinely like. I love the, the stop motion feature of it. And, um, yeah, I just think it's, it's a, it's a good film. Why can't I open this? Oh, it's been a long day. The children were... Everyone's having a weird year, you know? We're just having a weird year. Um, so this is Jack against, like, the tower, his, like, house tower, and, like, this sort of purple and black motif, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, there he is. Really cool paint, and then she sent one more over, and I had seen people get this one, again, you know, for as much as I've been to Burlington, um, I just haven't found them. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe they go before I get there. Maybe we're not getting them as much up in this area. And this is Sven and Olaf from, I'm assuming, Frozen 2. They got a lot of Frozen 2 merchandise at Burlington, but um, super cute. What a fun, what a fun pin. Um, Nancy, thank you for sending these over to me. It means a lot when you, nobody, please, you do not have to send anything. Um, I just love reading your comments, but it's, it's special when, when something gets sent over. So I really appreciate that an awful lot. Um, do we want to do more pins or blind boxes? Oh, let's do more pins. You know, I'd love to save the blind boxes for a minute. I got two more of the Oliver and Company puzzle pieces from Francis over at Dream Finding with Francis. She went and picked up two more. Um, and I am excited to see if I can complete that set. So this is from... I don't know. Let's see if there's a note in here. I've ordered from a couple of pin companies um online on instagram oh these came with these little um uh grape tootsie pops grape tootsie pops are my favorite oh, these are so good okay oh is this grape soda pin club that would make sense thanks and join the pin sandy and patrick uh-huh a grape soda pin club Go follow them on Instagram. I'll link them down below. Hmm. This grape thing is getting caught in my teeth. Hmm. Okay. So, first pin is Launchpad McQuack, one of the Disney afternoon pins I have not had. It's like the hidden Mickey or whatever. You see the Mickey? Mm hmm. Now, most important question of the day Does Launchpad get filed under DuckTales or Darkwing Duck? Hmm. Anyway. You let me know down in the comments. Um, Launchpad was one of my favorite characters on those shows, so I'm glad he got a crossover. We've got the BFF pin from Beauty and the Beast for Cogsworth and Lumiere. There was a whole series of these, I believe. And of course, I collect Beauty and the Beast, particularly the objects are my favorite. So when this popped up for... I don't know what, what the price is on these, but these are pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, keep an eye on these sellers who do Instagram sales. They do sales all the time. They do good prices. They get a lot of really nice variety. Uh, and I've been, you know, really happy with the purchases there. <sighs> Current mood. 
when is it not my current mood? But, you know, I love the Queen of Hearts and this, like, comic book style. I can't remember what this series is. Someone can educate me down below. I think there was a series of these, but absolutely had to have her. And then finally in this collection, which seems fitting before we get into the last two blind boxes um, that I have. Because you're only allowed to get two of these blind boxes. Um... I got, I assume this is the open edition, um, Dodger and Oliver. Surprisingly, I did not have it. I think it's fairly new-ish. Do, yeah, I don't have it. Okay, I had to check. Um, anyway, you know, a little bit on the basic side, but I have a huge Oliver and Company collection, so I was going to leave this one out in the cold. <laughs> All right. Let's do the uh, blind boxes, blind boxes, animals falling. All right, so uh, Francis, once again, thank you for offering to pick these up. There is another puzzle series she has been graciously helping me collect that I'm not going to quite tell you about. Because oh, wait. <gasps> this is not... Do I have more Oliver and Company pins coming from you, Francis? Maybe I don't. Anyway, these are not them. This is the other series, which... It's going to bankrupt me, but... I don't have a huge collection of this, but there are definitely some that I... Just have to have, and I may continue to grow this collection. Um more so they just released the let's see if i put it over here and make a little sense of this muppets puzzle set and we have got miss piggy now i already knew what these were so these are blind boxes um that have been released to the parks um here's the box she actually graciously sent the box over um and you can get uh, Rolf and Beaker and Dr. Honeydew and Miss Piggy, Kermit, Fozzie, Animals, Statler and Waldorf, um, Gonzo and Camilla. Why can't I think of this guy's name? Oh, Skeeter and it's too blurry for me. What does it say? Oh, Rizzo the Rat. Sorry. That's Rizzo the Rat down there. Um, she had had Statler and Waldorf in the picture she had sent to me by the time... I responded, she had traded that one away. I'm not bitter about it, Francis. I'm just saying that Statler and Waldorf are my favorite. But it's okay, we're gonna get these. Just teasing, Francis, I'm grateful for all of the hookups you have gotten me recently, so thank you. This is a huge, these are a really good size pin. We've got Dr. Honeydew, Benson, Honeydew, and Beaker. And then finally, now we're gonna see if I have Oliver and Company pins, and if not, I gotta get on that. Um, oh, I don't remember getting this one, but it doesn't matter because I needed it anyway. We have, uh, I don't think any of these, or maybe Piggy and him connect. Hold please, yeah, Piggy and him, hold please. Oh, we've got enough for like a little uh, trio of hookups. A trio of hookups. All right. There they are. Miss Piggy, Rizzo the Rat, Beaker, and Benson Honeydew. I am super excited for this series. Francis, thank you. I just love opening pin mail because it means I get to put more pins on my board. So I'm just looking at the fun I'm going to have post this video. So um, thank you, Grape Soda Pin Club. Thank you, Francis from Dream Finding with Francis. Thank you, myself, for buying pins and Loungefly and all the places for making the pins. Tell me which was your favorite down below. Like, comment, subscribe. You don't want to miss out on what's coming up. It is swap time. It is vlogmas time. We're going to have a great time. So make sure, click, click, click. And I look forward to seeing you on the next Disney afternoon.